Hello, everyone. Welcome to Journey Beyond the Abyss. And as always, now that we've got our live show, let's put the chat up. All right. So we have gotten ourselves a working cobble gen, our first incoming infinite resource. Now it's time to start making use of it. So the first thing we're going to want to build is we're going to want to build some more storage to fit our... Uh, to fit our beginning project. I think of the first project I want to go for is I want to go for a build craft refinery. So in front of the refinery, we're going to want storage for all of our diesel products, our, all of our petroleum products, and uh, as well as for crude oil. So we're going to need four tanks in total. So what does it make to make a tank? So we're going to need 16 treated wood fence, and we're going to need 136 iron sheet metal. Yes. Okay. So that's a bit more than two stacks of iron, which... Yeah, okay. Did I not... I thought I made a ton of... Uh... Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's just... Let's just guesstimate that many. Let, let, let's do, yes. So that would be, if 10 of them is 90, then that would be 180. Yeah, that's close enough. Let's just melt that down all into plates and start working on our fence posts, which is going to be easy enough. We have the treated wood planks. Do we need more ash? No, we don't. I think the only thing we need to put in here is some more creosote. Yeah, we're gonna need some more sticks too. We are gonna need some more sticks. So let's just dupe dupe as well as dupe. And let's get it some more creosote. Do I have a barrel over there? Yes, I do. It's not a terribly full barrel. Let's fix that problem. Yes, this is a late night stream. I'm not really going to expect anyone to show up at this weird random hour. This is entirely me booting up the game because I could not sleep. And I decided not to delay it until morning this time. But if anyone shows, they show. Yeah, we can move it a little bit faster than that. We can assist it. Now it's probably too late to assist it anymore, though. God, these things pour slow. Maybe I should start making fluid pumps for all of my transfers. Or I could just, you know, be planning ahead and properly starting new pours whenever we get out an old barrel. This one's empty, right? No, that one's also full of creosote. Nice. All right, so... To make some sticks, we're just going to need... You know, let's keep just the one bucket and put the other one away. Yeah, that makes five. How much am I going to need? I don't know. Let's make a bit. Let's see what that gets us. Looking like a bit more than a stack. Excellent. Alrighty then. And that should be sufficient for our purposes for now. So we can just... Oh, we're going to need to make more treated wood. Shoot. Well, that's easy enough. Wait, shouldn't I have more treated wood than that in storage? I guess not. Oh, well, that'll chew through a lot of our creosote. Yeah, let's just... I think it's one bucket per, so those eight buckets should make a stack, shouldn't they? Unless it's out of wood. Another easy fix. Oh, 
Uh, carpenters are such a pain to use and even worse of a pain to automate. But I've worked out some methods in my test world for how we might be able to manage that. But in the end, it's going to come down to just building a ton of carpenters. So we're going to need to automate all the parts for building carpenters sooner or later. But we'll get there. We will get there. And the three ash. And from there, we should be able to just dupe, dupe. And that should reset it. Good. That's going to make five. Ten. Fifteen. Eh. Twenty. Overcook it. Overcook it rather than under. And this has probably melted down a long time ago now. So, just, this is in plate mode, right? Right. <clears throat> I guess it's a good thing that I made more plates than I'm going to need because I'm probably going to, uh, shoot, hmm, well, let's make some, no, I can't do that. Well, let's just make a little bit more treated wood just so that we can clean the system then, I guess. That should do it. Fences are probably the most useful thing for us to make right now. We're gonna need to make a lot of storage. Hmm, I might need to... Yeah, I might need to automate... Well, I can't automate the, produ the production of ash. I might need to build up a bigger ash supply. Yeah, regardless. So, da, 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 da. Uh, I had some spare in here anyway. I should put this in my bag. Mm, might be time to make more bags. Soon. Ah, good. We have some ash stored up. How is the pour going? It's going. It's about halfway done. What have we got in storage? We got a bit more than a stack. Gonna need more than that. I guess in the meantime, I can start running pipe over. And yeah, I think I will just use... Well... If I put levers on it, then... It'll be automatically draining into the void pipes. We discovered that in the last episode. So shoot, I need to do it with Billcraft, don't I? Alright, let's do it with Billcraft. Thankfully, we uh, already have some of the pipes we need. But we are going to need to make some more redstone engines. So. Gonna need to just throw that together real quick. I am out of cobblestone. Well, I wonder if we have any to spare. If only we had some sort of automated cobble generator. Oh, can you just imagine that? We would probably have thousands of the stuff by now. Well, if you count, if you count what's in the chest, then yeah, we probably do. Look at that. Now, with that lever on, it's not ejecting back into the pipe. But it was doing that for fluids. Huh. Bizarre. Regardless, this is a nice box o cobble that we have here. And since it was building up a new supply in there, that means that this thing is fully loaded. So let's just bring it on over and steal a couple. Just for the purposes of crafting. And in the meantime, we just need eight for this. And we need, we need to run some more wood through the mill. Do I have, eh, that's not much, but it's something. 
How's the fuel doing? Fuel's doing fine. Okay. How's our iron plate situation? It's doing good. So, I determined I would need, what, 136? I've got 128 here. I need eight more, right? That sounds right. Is it like this? Oh, it doesn't have any lava. Right, we need to switch that back, and shoot, we're immediately gonna need to switch that back again afterwards. You know what, it might be time to make that other engineering workshop. What do we need to do that? What do we need to do that? NG. Because we have the three machine part, machine frames, I should say. Uh, that requires four obsidian blades. Eh. Yeah, fine. Let's do it. Let's just get it done. Let's also put this in here for now. Just to clear out our inventory a little bit. So, to make those four saw blades, first let's run over by the cog dancer. Yeah, we, this is kind of, I'm feeling that this is an awkward transitory phase. Once things are a bit more established over on the new base, the main bus base, it'll probably be time to move the storage system over. And honestly, I don't think I want to subject you all to that. I think I'll do that between episodes. When we get to that point. I think at the very least I'd like to have a couple of resources coming in in the beginning of, uh, of the ultimate production line started, just so I know where everything's going to be laid out. Well, I roughly know where things are going to be laid out now. Because the cobble is going to be the first silo in a big line of silos, just storing all the resources coming in from extractors, or excavators, rather. And on the other side of that, there's going to be tanks of liquid. Like, it, it's going to be solids going down like this way and liquids going down like this way. So if I just make a space between them, I could establish my own personal area, like, right down the center here. Hmm. Thoughts. In any case, let's make those saw blades. So I'm going to need four diorite. And I'm going to need half a stack of rocks. And let's just immediately make those. And from there, it should be relatively easy. Yes, just need to figure out where I... Good, right there. And right like that. Hmm. Right, it's bones that you get a really crappy ratio on, not flint. Speaking of, how am I doing for bones? Hmm, gonna need some more than that. Okay, so, have the farmers availed us of anything? Likewise, we could also look for a dye merchant selling bone meal, because I think we can compact that into shards. Mm, just a bunch of herbalists. Yeah, marketplace is being useless to us today. I suppose we could cycle it using our amulet. All right, Ovon doesn't have bones. Porkon that does. If anyone will show up before the monsters in the forest nearby come and get us. Mm, boy. Yeah, they're going to be depleted, aren't they? Completely and totally depleted. And attempting to farm monsters is an invitation for weepy angel shenanigans. Hmm. 
There is a place I know of with a monster spawner. We could attempt to capitalize on that. Yeah, you can't decide what you're doing. You're in a bit of a loop. I know that feeling. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Well, well. Hmm. We might need to figure something out. Well, I suppose that um, the crusher gives a slightly better efficiency than any other method I have right now. And maybe it'll be enough to put this over the edge? Maybe. Maybe, baby. But yeah, the only other reprieve I have right now is to cycle the days and check this market every day. Textiles? Mm, that's useless to me. And look for... Uh, Merchant of the Arts selling bone meal. Because I'm pretty sure I can compact bone meal into bone blocks and then break those into shards. Pretty sure. But let's just chuck all this into the crusher and see what it'll get us. Yeah, it'll get us a bit. Six per. That might be enough. Let's see here. And this stuff. How do I compact it? Well, I should look up the recipe for bone block. Yes. Okay, compacting or regular, and it's eight per. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. So, that should get us enough. Just on its own. If we just chuck it in there, clear out the remaining sand. Put that in there next. Excellent. And then if we take these bone blocks over onto an anvil, yeah, we can get our bone shards. Just gonna need. A few more. That should do the trick. So yeah, we have some sources of bone shards still. But it's definitely getting a little bit dire on that front. Still, hopefully we won't need, well, no, we are going to need some more because uh, we're going to be getting into artisan automation soon-ish. And once we get into that, we're going to need, like, more engineering workstations and stuff like that. Because the automated artisan requires a workshop of the type that it's going to be automating. Hmm. So yes, we're gonna need to we're gonna need to figure out a better source of bones. We're gonna need to figure out how to get into the bone zone a bit more easily. So no, oh, I had some in storage too. I should have looked for that. Regardless. And the rest should be relatively easy. Just need 32 of those. 32 of those. And let's see here. I'm making an NG, right? Yeah, it's going to need to go all the way up to obsidian. Do I have any obsidian in storage up here? Not looking like it. I've chucked it all into the cog dancer. Does the Cog Dancer still have some in stock? At one point, I'm probably going to have to consider what I'm going to do to automate Obsidian. Oh boy, yeah, this is growing fast now. 
Okay, cool. We have some. Hmm. Am I really out of tripes? I guess I must be. Hello. Huh. You are all loaded up to bear. Neat. And that has indeed stopped your production. Okay, that's good to know. That means that ultimately I can build a, bump, a bunch of pump jacks and kind of use gates. Well, I don't even need to use gates to control them. Okay, good. The pollution is kind of filtering out of the ceiling there. Uh, forgive me for this, but I will be right back. All right, sorry about that. So, uh, da, 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 I've completely lost my train of thought. Uh, we're just working our way up the old saw blade dance. Which is slightly less aggravating than the cog dance, if only because we don't need to do it so quite so often. But I suppose if we're going to be making a lot of engineer workstations for those automated artisans, then yeah, we're going to want to make a saw dancer sooner or later. In any case, got those laid out. And after that, it was just the machine frames and a bunch of wood. Easy peasy. So where did I put those machine frames? Right there. And just a bunch of wood. And that was in the blacksmith workshop, right? Oh, and of course. And of course, we can't forget. Of course, of course. Let's put all this away for the moment. Get this a bit more ordered so I don't lose completely track of where it's all going. Put it all away. Just to make the inventory a little bit easier to handle. So now we're going to need to make us, as one would expect, a good old-fashioned basic workbench. Yeah, we're probably going to need to automate the production of these sooner or later, which means automating a production of a whole lot of things, really. But that'll be fun. Hmm. And unfortunately, it won't be able to make use of these fancy mechanical hoppers because, to my knowledge, there is no way to put fresh cogs in these things. In an, in an automated way, I mean. No hoppers, no... Pipes, no nothing will allow you to do it, to my knowledge. So, let, let's just, yeah. So, da, 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 we're going to need a tinder, right? Let me see. It's been a while since I made a furnace. That requires an oven, and yeah, that requires tinder. Cool. So, need to... Make seven of those. Then that. Next, we just need a little bit of... I probably need to make for factory bricks, don't I? No, I don't. I don't. And from there, we just need four iron. In some ways, this inventory system is a bit less convenient than the old pick and choose out of the crates on the floor system. I do sometimes miss that. Just the sheer ease of selection it offered. And... That's the hard part done. From there, we just need to make a tank. with just one of our many piles of wood chips. And I saw that I had some crafting benches just sitting there eager to be used from when we made the cog dancer, if I recall. And from there, we can just into the basic workshop. Excellent. 
Now we should have everything we need for sure. No taxi vaxies. Grab a bunch of grab a bunch of cheaper wood. And in here. NG. And finally, we no longer have to make the decision between lava and gasoline. We can just do as we wish. Huzzah. Mild convenience achieved. Very slight less wastage. Okay, so we need sheet metal now. Come on, game. This is a bad one. Yeah, I may need to buy myself some more RAM. Oh boy. Yeah, you're laid out correctly, ain't you? Pour it all. And in fact, get me some more. Da, 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 da. Flint and steel. Good. Hmm. Maybe I should make a second backpack specifically just for pipes and logistic bits. Because I'm probably going to be carrying around a lot of those. Regardless. So, there's our tanks stored up. We're also going to need just a little bit of extra... Uh, yeah. We're going to need the pistons in order to make the... In order to make the, um... Redstone engines. That's why I wanted a second engineering station. So, that and that, I do believe. With that... No, it's the other way around. What do you know it is? And from there, we can finally just chunk some gasoline into this station. And move the tools over. Eh, we can make another set of tools. These solderers, they require the heating coils, which require... Mm, yeah, okay, we can... We can spare one of our last remaining nanomachines for it. It's fine. So those magma shards... That is just made out of a bunch of gelled slime. So let's pour out the rest of this. And clean this up. And that should allow us to just start pouring it out. You done already? No, you're not. It's just bugging out. Mm. Eventually, I'm going to have to upgrade all of these systems to be using, like, build craft pipes or fluid pipes or something. But that doesn't really work for even smelting very well. So it would have to be when I'm making individual smelters for each material that I do that. You know what? It's, it's probably just that it's out of sync, right? Let it completely clear, and then boop. There. That's operating a bit more friendly. Until it doesn't. Oh well. Oh well. And from there, we're just going to need... So we're going to need for a solderer... Four of those magma shards, which means we're going to need 20 of those jellied slimes. There we go. And there it goes. From there, we just need a bunch of glowstone. Well, I think we've got that handled. And that was just made in here, right? It were excellent. Eh, we'll consider this an ingot, I guess. Yeah, there's already some in there. And this is going in our kind of intermediary storage for carpentry. So then we need three pieces of granite, specifically granite cobblestone. Let's just chunk these up, I guess. Yeah. 
I think we technically just made slightly more granite than we started with. And that's not the first time that's happened. I remember commenting on that before. All right, so. Um, and just a redstone block. And from there, heating coil. Good. Now, it's also going to need two diamonds, a bunch of iron. A bunch of iron, a bunch of that durable twine, and a single tier two tool rod. Have I got not much in the way of those? Hmm. So, in you go. Oh, and a block of redstone, of course. Complex little device you have here. But, worth it. So, next... Yeah, we're going to need more of these tool rods. So, let's take our tier 1s. And I'm probably going to need to make myself some more refractory clay, I imagine. If it's... Anywhere in here. Yeah, need to make some more. So, do I have any limestone? A little bit. Probably enough. Yeah, I've already got some slaked in there. Alrighty then. And I can just make this one batch of flint powder as well to get myself the full stack. And that'll be very nearly good enough. Just get it all in there. Yep, yep, yep. And dupe, dupe, as well as dupe. And then into the balls. And from there, into the tool rods. There, that made me a nice, goodly supply. We're not exactly going on exact ratios here, obviously. We're just kind of chunking together copious supplies until we get what we want. So... Next, I'm going to need Artisan Hammer, right? That's just going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 10 diamonds. I think I need to chunk up some more. Easy, lazy transport. Right, that needs specifically a hammer. Ah, we're nearly through our old iron hammer at last. We use it so rarely. I wonder if it'll survive until the point we could technically enchant it to have mending or something. All right, and that should get us our hammer. Excellent. And finally, the last thing we needed was artisan pliers, right? Yeah, what do we need for that? Just four diamonds? Okay. Already lie. Excellent. And fresh new batch of tools. Huzzah! So, these go back in here. And these all go in here. And now we just have a lovely system in place. So, now I can grab these. And I can make myself just a ton of gears for later. Yep. There is no reason to be shy now. 
really, I could probably just completely fill this thing with gasoline. So, now we need to make the red engines. Yep, yep. That's just going to require two pieces of glass. Does it have to be Minecraft glass? I keep forgetting. Oh, I guess it would be in storage, wouldn't it? Yes. So, da, 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 da. and from there, yeah, it has to be Minecraft glass specifically. Hmm. So I'm thinking that our next excavator probably has to be on silt to solve this problem once and for all. Let's just keep those in there. All right, so then we're just gonna need two redstone blocks to go with those. Because if I recall, there is already an engine on gasoline, so it just needs to be on, hmm. What about crude oil? I guess crude oil, I'll just use the fluid pipes. Yeah, that makes sense. Gonna need more than that. Gonna need a lot more than that. Probably gonna need more buildcraft pipes than what I have too. Yeah, what do I got for buildcraft pipes in there? Yeah, I'm gonna need more than that. Gonna need a lot more than that. Let us just, where's all my gold? I could have sworn I had a lot of gold ingots. Oh well, I have a ton of gold blocks. It's fine. And in it all goes. Bunch of glass. Let's just move the glass over to the new engineering workstation because we're going to be making a lot of pipes. We're going to be making a lot of these pipes in particular, I tell you what. These are kind of our, our main boys here. Yeah, we're out of glass anyway. Let's just finish it off. Alrighty then. So hopefully that'll be enough to get us by. Alright, so this one is our system in a box. This one is our cobblestone. We'll put that right back on the generator before we forget about it. Keep that just a nice full storage system until we start using it to build the platform. Actually, we're probably going to need to do right away. Yeah, we need to build this platform bigger in order to... In order to uh, build our storage tanks. Yeah. Especially if we want to lay out space, like, between our solid storage and liquid storage for a small crafting space. Yep, so it's time to build the platform. And that means I put away my glowstone, didn't I? So, yep, it's time to go grab that, too. Oh, it's a beautiful sight. A completely automated resource production. And that is just the first link in a chain that will be very, very long indeed. Long and multifaceted once we have more excavators going. Alright, so where did I put my glowstone? There did I put my glowstone. And let's just chunk that in the backpack for now. All right, so. Uh, you know what? It might be easier to have solid storage going down that way. Uh, yeah, and start the liquid storage. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, so. Let's take this out. Let's guess roughly central-ish. With a little bit of a bias to the left, I guess. Take our chisel out. Get as much into our bag as will fit as well. Deniers? No. Well, also, need to take this, this, and this out. So I can put these in, I guess. Need more backpacks. 
need more in general. All right, so let's just guess roughly how much cobble we're gonna need. And by guess, I mean let's just fill up our inventory. Why not? Turn that all into our preferred species. And let's inch forward as best we can. And how's this doing? Does this remember our... It do. Okay, so... Current size of the platform is 15. Can I handle a 20 on this thing? The heck? Oh, I'm freezing. Yeah. Oh, it can. Okay. Sweet. And, yep. So that's most of a full chest of cobble automatically just laid out for us immediately. Yeah, the train blueprint trick is pretty nice. Oh boy, I need to lay down some tinder up here, don't I? Yeah, I probably do. Okay. Well, let's... Let's do that. Yeah, I'm wearing the wetsuit. That should be pretty good insulation. It was to the point that it was causing me to overheat for a long time. I just can't keep up with the dang rain. Lay sigh. Let's just pick up the tinder. And lay it out where we will. Hmm. Also looks like I didn't bias myself to the left quite enough for it to meet up our uh, systems here. So we'll just have to do a little bit of manual building. Just to kind of even it out a little bit. There we go. Yeah, because I, I want to keep the storage all just kind of going in a nice even line on this level. So we definitely want this part at least to be even and straight. Alrighty then. And now we can go into F7 mode. Now let's let's first of all repaint all our cobble back to good old Nilla. And then put our box back on the cooker. Fill it up again for the next platform extension. So F7 mode. Get myself a stack of glowies. And make like the CIA. Make this whole platform glow in the dark. Hmm. I guess that it must be because we extended out. Yeah. Maybe I should... Nah. It's mostly fine. Hmm. And yes, I know, just good old construction is a bit boring. Six. Maybe... Maybe platform building is something I'll do off screen in the future. Two, three, four, five, six, six, I say, and seven. Because, I mean, you've, you've seen me do it a couple of times now. You know that it's not exactly a uh, burden on my infrastructure or my supplies. 
it's more or less just a burden on my patience. And patience is something that I mostly reserve for when I'm on... Or, or patience is something that I mostly lack when I'm recording and I'm self-conscious of uh, boring all you out there. If it's just a matter of building it out, then sure, I'm willing to do that on my own. Five, six. Excellent. Hmm. Maybe I should figure out, like... Maybe I should do powered lanterns instead of glowstone. That would probably be faster to light up this whole big construct. Maybe. Or maybe I just need to better optimize, like, what size platform I lay out so that I have to do less derping around on the edges. Maybe there's a radius that's perfectly lays out like a glowstone grid each time without having to... Oh, hello! Bulldog, I didn't see your messages there for a little while. And you've retracted them before I could comment on them. Oh, buddy. oh dear, I'm sorry. This is a tired stream, and I was kind of caught in my own little world, not expecting anyone to show up. If you're still around, by all means, hello. Well. Well, I'm sorry I was a poor host. I didn't realize I had company. I was so caught up in my own game. In my own head, I should say. Caught up in my own game sounds arrogant. Hmm. Alright. And yeah, let's make it pretty. Why not? Mosaic. Alright. Let's start from down here. Work our way up. Yep. Yes, this is unnecessary, but I'd like my platform to not be a complete eyesore, even if it is cobble. And just, just the Celtic would make it look like it's kind of a big iron mesh I'm standing on. This at least adds some body to it, I think. Alrighty then. Let's work down the line. Not lose track of what we've already done. Oof, bit of lag. Not the time for it. Never the time for it. Game? You're worrying me, game. There we go. Hopefully you're feeling better now, game, now that you got that out of your system. Alrighty then. And you know, I'm probably gonna miss a connection somewhere. It's fine. Yeah, I think this is definitely the type of work that I shouldn't be doing on stream. Now that I have done it on stream a couple of times, and I've shown that this is literally something I'm doing more or less for free. I've generated more cobble than I've spent in the time it's taken me to do this.
and laying out just a flat platform of cobble isn't exactly a mega project to me. Not with the train track blueprint trick that I've figured out. But in the meantime, we get this amazing line connecting action. Glorious, wonderful, beautiful lines for the stream. Yes. Celebrate them, I'm sure. Everyone just loves it. There. I think that's a nice, pretty grid that we've assembled together. All right, all right, all right. So. Right, one last chisel, even though this is probably already full. No, not quite, not quite yet. Let's put that in there. Now, over here. So I guess that, yeah, we could make this What's the chunk space look like? Yeah, that looks... Yeah. Yeah, I suppose that this little area could kind of be like... So if we start lining up the tanks like here-ish, just kind of in line with what's already existing, then that would leave a little bit of space between our solid and liquid storage where I could start setting up a crafting area. That does sound promising. That do sound promising. First of all, let's keep it completely in line. Yeah. So like, right, not there. Here, yeah. So then, Yeah, that works. So, let's start laying it out. Just there. And we can kind of use our bag to help us out here. Yeah, load this up in here. Cool. All right. And two. Three. And then it should be this level that we level off, right? can't weigh that much. I thought so. Ah, not quite. Okay, just a couple of building blocks. There, that's better. And that should form a tank. No, am I wrong? Does it not like having fence posts right there? One, two, three, four. Five. Maybe it's one too high. Okay, let's give that a try. Yep, tank. 
getting a rough idea of how to build things. God, I hate that the mass doesn't always catch changes right away. At least I hate it when it's not in my favor. Alrighty then, so we can just move right along down the line. Grab 34 of these, because that should be the, be the amount, right? Let me double check that in the book. Yeah, 34. All right, and we can just lay those right there and start bringing these out. So one in the center like that, then eight all around. And then just start working our way up. A few at a time, just taking them out of the bag. With just one more layer like that, and then it's solid. Just like so. Exactamundo. And this apparently needs torches just up at the top. Alrighty then. Now we're making these storage tanks uh, for our three uh, oil products as well as for crude oil itself because we are going to need these oil byproducts for crafting ultimately. As well as this will put a little bit more storage on the line for just massively leaving that system running. I guess I can leave the tinder in there as a tool. really wish there was a sheet metal that didn't weigh so much. Okay, and... Yeah, it's not so bad when you have another one to go off of, too. Because you can kind of tell that uh, the flat layers are just flat, and then that final layer is where you make the uh, complete block. Like so. And can I just put a torch up on here? Let me bring my torches back out completely. If I do that, can I still hammer it? Yes, I can. Cool. And it doesn't even disrupt it. Excellent. And finally, for crude oil... And crude oil is ultimately the one that we're going to be interested in right now. Because we are going to need that for our buildcraft refinery. Alright. There's no reason to bring it out piecemeal. I can just kind of stand in place and construct it. Yeah, that's a, bot that's a lot smoother. We're discovering new methods as we go. It's wonderful stuff. All right. So, next, and thankfully, because, because I changed my mind on how I want my design to work, we don't need quite as much pipe as I thought we would. So let's start with the crude oil because that system will be, oh dear, a skeleton. How did that happen? I mean, I appreciate the bones, but I don't appreciate the spoons. Where did you find room to spawn in? Probably the millionaire villagers. Always blame them by default. Is 
Is it on their roof? Let's use these pipes just to pillar up. No, it's the cider trees themselves. Huh. That is potentially problematic because I don't know if they cut these down or if they just pick apples off of them. Hmm, regardless. If we're gonna be staring, if we're gonna be standing near the uh, cidery, I guess we'd better keep it daytime. That's better for heat purposes anyway. Yeah, that sounds... Oh, God, these fences. How do they make fences that I can't jump over? Okay, so this is our oil pipeline. How can I run that over without intersecting anything else? I guess it's just going to be a matter of going over or under, isn't it? And so far we've been kind of biased towards under. Yeah. That'll work. And in fact, we can just run that over all the rest of the way and start... Uh, I should probably... Yeah, I should probably insert from the bottom on all of these. Make that kind of the policy. So, just need to knock those out very carefully under each and every one of these. And on this one, we can mark it with a few pipes, just so that we know where it is. There, that's some cobble for us. Just to refill in the gaps that we had to make. There we go. And from there... Yeah, right, also fill in this. Good. And we can just run that on down. I forget, do liquid pipes interact with redstone? I don't think they do. Regardless, let's just run it on down. And... So, in order to fill up our crude oil, we're going to have to shut the distillery off, but sh turn the engine on. So we're going to have to be careful not to run out our diesel while we're filling up this tank. Wow, almost exactly enough. That's amazing. In any case, I think I did pack up a lever for some reason in here. Yeah, I did. And I don't remember the reason. But... I will take the lever anyway. So we can turn the distillery all the way off. Keep an eye on our diesel. Yeah, we got a bit. And then we can turn this on. And that should be pumping out sweet crude oil. It'll fill up the distillery first. And that'll take a little while to fill up. But then it should be going all into our tank. Yeah, yeah, we, we've got a little bit of time to burn on this one. Hmm, I guess I should see... Oof, ow. I guess I should see if that pump... Yeah, that pump jack is pumping. Why is that pump jack pumping? You are completely full up, sir. I guess that it's filling up these hoppers now. Yeah. So when those hoppers are completely full, it should shut off, right? 
Let's hope so. I hope that it's self-regulating. It's not a huge deal if it's not. It just means I'm gonna need, you know, slightly more gates for my liquid resources. There we go. Now we should start to see it eventually working its way up into the tank. Just right on up here. Excellent. Wonder bar. Alrighty then. So yeah, I'm going to let that fill up a little bit. And in the meantime... Uh, yeah, let's start making what we're going to need for our refinery. So, the first step of what we're going to need for a Buildcraft refinery is we're going to need uh, 15 heat exchangers. Buildcraft refining of fuel requires that you heat and cool various fluids using heat exchangers. And thankfully, heat exchangers are relatively inexpensive because you're going to need a butt ton of them. And we're going to need glass. Shoot. Okay, so we might need to... Hello. Hello, Prince. I'm filling up a tank with crude oil. A, because eventually we're going to need it for crafting purposes. You need it for crafting the uh, artisan automation stuff. The... Um, these things, the mechanical artisan, those use crude oil. Second reason is I'm working on a Buildcraft fuel refinery so I can get some gates going. And we're gonna need crude oil for that. So I'm just getting a supply of crude oil up and going. But it's good to see you this evening. Always lovely to see you in the stream, Prince. And yes, look. Look at this glory. We have a second engineer's workshop. Isn't that beautiful? No longer do we need to choose between deep, between gasoline and lava. Okay, no Tenga's dose. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so where's all my sand? I really don't have much. Yeah, I'm gonna need to farm up some more, aren't I? No, no, there's a bit. There's a bit, but no, I'm gonna need to make those heat exchangers. And I'm gonna need to make 15 of these heat exchangers. So I'm gonna need 15 times three, that's 45 glass. So yeah, I need to go and farm up some more. I think I'm just gonna go diving for that with my excavator. Uh, where is my excavator? There it is. And yeah, I guess I can put these pipes away. There we go. Also, fill my hunger. But yes, um, I think that all three of the uh, distillery products, lubricant, gasoline, and... and uh, Well, maybe not diesel. Maybe not diesel. But lubricant and gasoline are for sure useful for crafting purposes. And um, crude oil itself is useful for crafting purposes. So I decided to just make a place on my storage for uh, a tank of each. And that's going to start the liquid side of my storage. So let's dispose of some of this stuff. And let's just lay out... All I want is sand. Yep, just kind of swoop on by and then pick it all up. It's fine. We just need tons of sand. It's coarse and it's rough and it gets everywhere. And it will be ours. Alright, any more? 
in our messy slaughter of the sandbank. Yes, I know I'm wasting tons of dirt and clay and sugarcane, but those are all things that I really don't need. I need sand. Okay. And hopefully that should be enough to last me until I can get an excavator going for it. Okay, how's this system going? If I can get my buckets out. How we doing? Yeah, that tank's about half full. Sweet. It really does go fast. Oh yeah, and also, look at this, Prince. Look at this glory. We have thousands of something. Isn't that wonderful? It might just be cobble, but still, we have our first holy shit amount of storage of something. Okay, and let's just chunk all this in here. Oh, that's going to be slow. That's going to be slow going. I should have put a mechanical hopper on that instead of a wood. That is one case where it will be justified because it's using a cog anyway. Well, let's just speed it along. Oh, wait. I don't have a compacting basin anymore. Didn't I have a mechanical hopper in storage to spare somewhere? I do. And of course we have the wonderful cog dancer. All right, grab one of those. Yeah. It's really going to be time pretty soon to move the uh, move the storage in the old base up onto this platform. It's getting a bit awkward shuffling back and forth. Okay, I think that's probably enough oil up in there for now. So let's turn the distillery back on and refill our diesel tank a little bit. Because I probably did deplete it. Eh, just a bit. That was about... 60 buckets it ran through just now? Yeah. Yeah. So, Prince, do you think that... Do you think that Royally Dawson would be okay with me just, um... Moving all my storage crate... Moving this entire storage system over to the new base between episodes so I don't subject you all to me... Shuffling a million inventories. I think he would be okay with that, so long as I'm explicit about myself doing it. Okay, let's see if that runs a little bit faster. Hmm, not really. Oh well. Regardless, we have more than enough sand right now. Yeah, that's what I figure. I, I guess I'll just be really explicit that that uh, when I wrap it up tonight, I'll make sure that I repeat that I plan to do that. Okay, so heat exchangers. Next, we're going to need 30 of these iron gears. Which, thankfully, is a lot less painful than the cog dance version of it, even though it's still working up the same similar chain. But just the fact that these things stack together makes this so much nicer. Gonna need two more. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I think I will. Uh, because eventually I'm going to have like things like automated lava production, automated, well, automated water production is easy right now, but all the automated fluids and I can just pipe them up into the artisans and need them from the maintenance layer below. So not only will it be more convenient, it'll look better. And, you know, if I just have all my storage up there, along with the holy shit storage of the silos... And that's also going to be where we're going to start setting up our mass automation systems. So, uh, yeah. I think that'll just be the base now. We'll no longer... I think it might be close to time to retire this, uh... This overly decorated base. It's gotten too cramped. It's cramping our style. Sadly. Okay, so... Da, da, da. Yeah, this is just a bunch of cobble. Uh, about two stacks worth. I might not have enough on hand in here. Yeah, not quite enough. Well, that's easy to resolve. Mostly, I just want to be able to stop running back and forth ridiculously like I have to right now. Oh, right, 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 right. Also, I want to finish running over all that from there. Yes. Yes, yes. So, let's just... Dupe. And dupe. And probably on the underside here. Dupe. And a dupe. Oh, those are... Those are item transports, aren't they? We need to switch those over to... Oh, shit. Well, we wasted a bit of lube. It's fine. We'll make more. Get back in there, please. Uh, a jetpack? Yes, you're talking about the Electrotine jetpack from, um, from Project Red, right? That thing, try that out in your test world, it is super janky. You basically, you need to make the Project Red Electrotine generators to power it, which run only on Electrotine dust. So you're essentially going to be shoveling bucketfuls of Electrotine dust into it. And its battery lasts a total of maybe 30 seconds. And its acceleration is janky, too. Like, it'll launch you super fast up into the air, but then when you start falling back to Earth, it takes a couple of moments to get you back to hovering speed. So it's just not a good jetpack in general. Not in my opinion. Do I have any other? Because I think I left the other one there after the shenanigans. Just get rid of those. And we need to... Oh, right. Also, we need to turn this slime into pipe sealant in the first place. And then turn those. And we're also going to need a bunch of... Well, I have a bunch of fluid pipes already. That's fine. Let's see if that's enough. But yeah, seriously, try that Electrotine jetpack out in in uh, in in your test world. It's awkward. I mean, it can help you out for sure. It can probably help you out with making a tall build or some other construction project like that. But it won't be as helpful as you think it will. I don't think we're going to have a good jetpack until we can get the one from Advanced Rocketry.
good enough. And that's lubricant, right? Should have pumped out a little bit more lube by now, shouldn't it? Ah, it's doing that now, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, and this is just completely full. Lovely. Beautiful. I'm gonna need more gold fluid pipe. But I can at least lay out the output on this one. Oops. Like so. And then give it, of course, its customary engine. Uh, I really wish I had pipe pulsers already. And now we just need to go and make our some more pipe sealant. At least we can put this away. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I did pour out the rest of the blood a little while ago. Ah, this went uneven. Shoot. Hate when that happens. But it's blood. Blood is free. So it's okay if we waste a little. Ah, huh, exact amount. What do you know? Not exact amount of gasoline. And I'm probably going to need to, yeah, need to fill this up. Well, that's an easy order right now. But yeah, see, doing this, want to stop doing this. This is no good. This is bad juju. And again, I have no idea if... Um, if diesel is needed for any crafting recipes, but better safe than starry. We might as well have a tank of it, you know? Tanks are relatively inexpensive. But yeah. Like, between episodes after I do the move, I'm just gonna have both my engineering workshops up there and like, one of them will have the gasoline just piped into it. And this will never be a problem again. And eventually I'll have, like, a storage system for lava. And it'll pipe into the other one, and it'll be, it'll be grand. It'll be glorious. Because this is just insufficient to our purposes right now. And I forgot that I need to pick up some cobblestone while I'm over there for the remaining crafts of those after we finish laying out these pipes, of course. Hmm. So, uh, what's the exact point you are in your, uh, in your base right now, Prince? Like, uh, where have you gotten to in your recording? I know that you're way ahead of what you've posted on your channel. Last I heard, you had your excavator up, and you were having trouble uh, managing it, right? Which uh, is exactly why I'm going for gates, by the way. Makes managing... Gates are made for managing systems like the excavator. Beauteous. Now, I don't know if there's any system to prioritize the diesel generator. It might be that I need to move the diesel generator up onto the platform. Hmm. Oh, you're kind of... You're being, um... You're being pretty... Pretty, um, I can't words right now. 
You're being ambitious in your build. I like it. I'm kind of... I'm kind of cavemanning up some additional infrastructure over here, and you're kind of going straight for the big guns right away. Neat. Alright. So, now we need to make those dang heat exchangers. And I forgot to bring more cobblestone yet again. Can I get cobblestone from any of my... No, I can't really. Well, do I have any slots in my bag for it? I have one. I'll just... Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Really... Uh, and don't forget redstone. You need butt tons of redstone for those redstone engineering blocks, which are the basis of the entire system. That's why my first excavator is on redstone and I've not moved it. Because I'd eventually like to automate it up into these silos, of course. That is the cobble one, right? Right. Cool. Big box of rocks. Lovely, lovely stuff. Really wish we had a better hydration solution than the, uh, I, I mean, I could make the, like, golden apple drank, but that's awkward to work around. Yeah, boy. You just... there. Okay, so now we have enough cobble to last for a little while. So... there we go. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a good plan to me. Ugh, make more ingots. Make more iron ingots. Should have done that when I realized I was nearly out. And let's just get those and leave those in there. I don't use my thermionic a whole lot just yet. And really, when I do start using thermionics a whole lot, I'll probably automate some sort of system for getting glass to them anyway. So, 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 I'm going to need a lot of iron ingots. Yeah, a lot more than that. Technically, I don't need to make 30 heat exchangers. But, uh, yeah, that's probably the best to go for. Uh, because um, the heat exchanger is a multi-block. It can be three to five spaces long. And... Three is the minimum you need to get it working, but it runs super slow. Five is really the minimum useful size, in my opinion. Which is to say, the maximum size. And we're going to need three heat exchanger systems in total. So thus we're going to need 15 heat exchanger blocks. All right, so this is pouring out one gear per, so it'll just need 30 pours. Well, I guess that while that's doing, I can just uh, refill the gasoline barrel. Yeah, that's something useful to do. I'm going to need tons of gas. I can probably grab a couple of barrels, can't I? Yeah, are any of these empty? Reassote and seed oil? No. Do I have any spares? Eh, no, but I can make some. If I just do this and this. Yeah, let's get some gas.
Yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't really want to start building any big systems like an automated biodiesel system, an automated anything really, until I have gates. I want gates so I can make my systems smart. And I just realized that I don't really have any system of inputting into these right now. I guess that... Which one of these is gasoline? You are. So if I... Into here... That should work, right? Yeah, you're filling up a bit. Slowly, but you are filling up. It's that output limit of 1.6 buckets per pulser from that pipe over there. Okay, there's a nice full one. And now that... Yeah, the rest of these should fill up relatively quickly. There we go. That should hopefully be enough gas to get us by for a little while. But yeah, I guess that if you are working on biodiesel, then in some ways you are ahead of me. That's neat. No reason not to fill it up with gas. So, that should hopefully be enough. Yep, a slightly more than enough. And the rest is just useful to have as iron ingots. So with that, we go back to making our heat exchangers. We're just gonna need a bunch of iron. So wheat. Okay. Is that enough? That looks like enough to me. So, 15 heat exchangers. Next, we are going to need, if the game will stop lagging. Come on, game. You can do it. I believe in you. I need to buy more RAM. Mm. Need to download more RAM. Okay, so next we're going to need two distilleries. Which is going to require more Minecraft glass, isn't it? Yep. Well, how's this doing? Uh, that's not enough. We need to go get more. Need to go get more once again. Thankfully, that's a relatively fast process. So gather that all up, throw those out. Be very careful not to throw anything expensive out. And now we just go. Messy, probably inefficient, but fast. That's the name of the game right now. We're doing this the Eurobeat way. B 
because I'm feeling impatient and I want my gates. I want them. Hmm. Yep. And I tell you, making a cog dancer to make those, to make the cobble gen a bit easier. Having a cog dancer is worth it because if you're gonna be playing with uh, artisan automation, then every every mechanical artisan that you build is gonna need an engineering workshop, or you, it's gonna need the workshop that is automating inside of it. So if you're gonna be making a lot of production lines, then you're gonna need a lot of those artisans' workshops, and thus you're going to need probably a lot of machine frames. I still have the tinder on me. Okay, so... Get all this in here. So yeah, automating the cogs is a useful thing to do. It's not just... It's not just the fact that I hate it and it needed to die. It's that and the fact that it's actually useful. Heck, with the fact that the engineering workshops, which are probably the one you want the most, at least early on, those need saw blades too. So making a saw dancer to go with your cog dancer might just be useful. Might just be useful. Yeah. That mechanical hopper really ain't worth it. I guess once the gears run down, I'll switch it back to something more reasonable. Hmm. I guess I, I definitely look forward to seeing how you're doing once you're a bit out of the, uh, once you're a bit out of the grindy phase that you're in w what you've uh, posted so far. Like, I'm, I'm looking forward to Mm-hmm. Well, you, you've seen the Cog Dancer, right? You've seen my glorious tornado of crafting. Yep, I did it the I did it the stupid cheapo and dumb way that just gets it done. Behold, the twisty cog dancer. This thing is just a pile of these buildcraft auto workbenches which are just essentially a crafting table with a stone with a couple of those cheapo buildcraft stone gears that you saw me just craft a ton of just piled up on cheap wooden hoppers all the way up with just a bunch of buffer storage on them that yep yeah, it just goes down the line auto crafting the entire line with a little bit of extra storage in the form of these drawers, just so I can pick out whatever gears I need when it's convenient to do so. Nope. That really isn't expensive. The more expensive part was just um, farming up a bunch of resources to chuck into it, just so that I would have a pile of gears at hand. And eventually, slightly more expensive is going to be setting up an automated artisan to do the uh, to do the shards and stuff that go into it. Hmm. Is that enough glass? Maybe. Let's see here. To make a single one of those buildcraft tanks. Yeah. So it's going to take 24 to make a single distillery. I probably need more. Let's put that on the list for right now and take this off. I'm done with that. Yeah, yeah, going to need more. Going to need more. Yeah, maybe I should have set up an excavator on silt before I did this, but eh, I've I've been hungering for the gates, hungering to play with all the things I've built in my test world with them.
Sure, let's keep dirt too. Why not? So I just want it now. So we'll do a little bit of dredging the seabed for resources. It's fine. I really wish it would let me use the Tinker's Glass. Really, Tinker's Glass should be ore dictionary to Minecraft Glass. Heck, it should be craftable into Minecraft Glass. But to my knowledge, not in this pack. Not in this pack. But yes, the probably the most expensive part of actually building the Cog Dancer was just all of the wooden hoppers. If only because, you know, they cost like refractory clay and stuff like that. But they really aren't expensive. Not when you can build the chest with the cheap uh, carpenter recipe. Okay, that's a few more stacks of sand pile. That's also... There we go. And into the compactor you go. Yeah, we do in fact have a little bit of dirt in storage. Neat. get burning some more lava. Wait, do you have cobble in you? You don't. That's why. Well, that's easy enough to fix. Okay, how much glass did I have? Huh, wow, I think I accidentally picked up exactly what I needed. Excellent. Alrighty then. So. Bye. There. And then. It's just going to need those two diamond gears. So. Let's start working on that. With. Eight cobble. A iron and a diamond that I might as well get while I'm here. Also, this doesn't belong in here. It belongs in here. Excellent. Yep, eight of those. We can turn this off now. And from there we just go up the tiers oh right gold needs gold and gold and diamond And then I just need to make myself four redstone torches. Just like so. And with that, we should have distilleries. I guess it needs to be laid out by hand. Okay, whatever. 
Must be because build craft tanks don't stack. All right, so next we're gonna need a ton of liquid pipe. So we're gonna need some more pipe sealant. How much do I have in the way of slime right now? Not very much. Might be time to go and visit the blood bank. Also, I think I left my crate that I left all my gold pipes with up on the platform. Probably. Oh boy. No pollution has escaped the system yet? Excellent. Hmm. Okay, good. It looks like it looks like sufficient diesel is coming out this way. How are you doing? Oh right, the bitumen. I keep forgetting that I need to handle the bitumen somehow. Um I guess for now, I'll just lay out more chests the lazy way. I won't even pipe into it. I'll just clear it out. And like once I've filled up these chests, I'll just put a void pipe on it and we'll hope that like a couple of chests of bitumen is all we ever need. I have no idea if this thing has any use later in the game. I know it has a couple of edge case uses. But I have no idea if it if there's like anything that's going to require hundreds of it later on. Okay, that's probably sufficient. That should at least cover it for a couple of minutes. Yep. Let's just take that crate down. Because it's full of heavy glowstone. Need to put that back in the chest. Keep just one stack on me. I just have one stack on me. That's that's fine. Okay, so need to go visit the blood bank. Maybe I should upgrade the draining system on this as well as the input system in my smeltery to use metal tanks. I mean, that would be what? A total of 48 buckets of blood? Which, yeah, the blood bank holds. It would be a lot faster. It would also mean I would be outputting a whole lot more blood each time. Ah, hello, computer wizard. Good to see you. Eh, uh, good very late night for me. I couldn't sleep. So I just started streaming. To hopefully tire myself out enough that when I pass out in bed, I'll pass out properly, you know? Alrighty then. Big buckets of blood. And then just in it all goes. Set it into mode. And start a pouring. Make us tons of pipe sealant. And let's just clean out the iron while we're here. Indeed. 
Really, I'm just making use of my human resources department. HR has a completely different meaning to me. Alright. So... Just get whatever is in here. Start making us some more pipe sealant. Ah, nice. Okay, so let's start with just a stack of fluid pipes. Yes. Well, no, it's... If anything, it's the normal definition of HR that should have the quotes on it. My way is more honest when you think about it. Well, then again, I guess, yeah, they could be quote-unquote humans because they're NPCs. Hmm. They don't have souls. It's fine. Okay, so... Two of those are... Okay, so next I'm gonna need a couple of... What are they called properly? Gonna need a couple of combustion engines. Those are relatively inexpensive. Just gonna need... Okay, I'm gonna need two of them to start out. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna need. So... Yep, I can swing that. I can swing that just fine. And from there, make my pistons. And then from there, you know what? Let's start chopping down some wood into sticks. Because we're running out of sticks. So then we're going to need eight cobble and eight iron. Ugh, God is so angry at us today. That's how you know we're doing this right. Alright, and I only made half of what I'm going to need because, yeah, I'm going to need more than... Just one, of course. More glass. Do I have any in storage? Yeah, a little bit. As well as, let's just have a stack of iron in there for purposes. All our glass, all our iron. So make that first combustion engine. Excellent. Now I just need to make a second one. Right. Let's swap that out. Get those sticks right away. I said right away, please. Ah, sequoia seems to take so much longer to cut than other things. Well, then again, these are just boards. They're not sequoia. So it's just me being impatient and it feeling like it's taking forever. There we go. And from there, we're going to need eight of these. And there's already iron in there. So... Really? Out of gas again? Goodness gracious. I'm probably going to have to refill these barrels again pretty soon. Alright. And from there... And from there... Good. Alright, so... 
What else do we need? We're, well, we're gonna need at least one fluid extraction pipe. And I think I'm out of those. Yep. So need a piece of wood, a diamond. And a piece of glass to make more extraction pipes. And from there, we also need to make more pipe sealant because it's going to be a fluid. Alrighty then. Let's also get that lava pouring and burning. Okay, fluid pipe. Now I'm gonna need more than that. I'm gonna need like, let's see here. I'm gonna need to go from crude oil to the first distillery. Out of that first distillery, it'll be two more and then two more after that. And also I'm probably going to wanna put the ultimate, uh, the two types of fuel that I'm gonna be making into storage tanks. So yeah, I'm gonna need gonna need let's just make them all let's just make them all we'll have a use for a fluid extraction pipe sooner or later i'm sure yeah keep it in there okay so goodly supply of fluid pipe um i'm probably gonna want some pipe plugs just to for ease of of um construction so that's a little bit of cobblestone a little bit of gravel if I have any. Um, I don't seem to have any. That's okay. We should have some just plain old rocks somewhere. No? Well, we can go get some real quick. That's not a big whoop. Let's just... Um, there's my backpack. There. So I have some fences, good. Uh, am I out of torches? No. And yeah, let's go, oh, hammer. It is hammer time, yes. Good. And just hop on over into our mine. Climb on down. Yeah, this is a fine level. And two, three, four. Just get a couple. Might as well pick up some limestone while I'm here because I'm out of that too. Just dig out this vein. It's a pity that is probably not just vanilla Minecraft uh, gravel and it's something else, most likely. That is unknown to me. It seems that there's a million different types of, like, sand and clay and gravel, all of which are unknown. Okay, we got a little bit of limestone. And more importantly, we have a couple of stacks of pebbles that we can turn into gravel. Should probably build a proper staircase down this mine sooner or later. Eh. We're close to the point of automating everything that it can do. Eh. Yes, gravel too. The, uh, the sedimentary boogaloo. I like mine better. Mine is geologically accurate. Gravel doesn't conduct electricity at all. You're lying to us. Boo that man. Boo. Hmm. 
Marble. Useful for decorating, I guess. Mm. Limestone is limestone. Alright, and let's keep our torches on us. Okay, just a little bit of gravel is all we needed. And... A little bit of cobble to go with it. With just a kiss of gasoline. And those will make structural pipes. Those are also useful to have. <laughs> you just woke up. I've been up all night. Yep, let's keep just a stack of pipe pugs. The rest is structural pipes. We won't really have much use for structural pipes right now, but um, they can be useful for setting up gate networks. All right, so next we're gonna need some redstone engines just to pump stuff around. We're gonna need more than that, shoot. All right, well, hold on. Let's, uh, let's set down a shulker box to put this industry in. All right, before I forget, it's also going to need a couple of redstone blocks for those engines. And let's make ourselves some... I don't have any mechanical components, do I? Oh, shoot. Hmm. I thought I... Yeah, I made it. Uh, did I put my iron plates in here? Wow. Shows that I'm getting a bit tired, doesn't it? Okay, so we need then 22 copper to go with that. And we'll just see what we can make out of that. There as they are. Okay, nearly a stack's worth. Hmm. So that's going to need a little bit of iron, a little bit of copper, a whole lot of redstone to make. And block red. So let's use roughly half of our mechanical components in those. I brought way too much. It's fine. <laughs> yes, the burn means it's working. Just ignore the dissolving of your gums. It's fine. You can't get gingivitis if you don't have any ginge. That's just thinking ahead. All right. And there we go. And let's just make six of them, because that's what we happen to have on hand. So, need to make my pistons. And from there, we can turn those straight into redstone engines, pretty much. Just gonna need a little bit of sticks.
which thankfully we now have a nicely good supply of. And yeah, just make a ton. Do I have any more gasoline in these barrels? Yep. Get in there. Don't you sass me, gasoline. Really, if this was accurate, I should be the one eating you. Alright, so next... Just gonna need redstone engines. Excellent. Alright, so... Might as well make sure that they all have redstone blocks too. And let's see if that's enough to get an industry going. Eh, I'm probably going to need more pipe than that. I'm definitely eventually going to need more combustion engine than that. Because, yeah, I'm going to need combustion engines to eat the outputs of what this is all going to be producing. But in the meantime, let's just see what we can see. So... Build craft fuel refining starts with crude oil. Uh oh. Did I forget to light up a part of the maintenance layer? F7 mode is on. Not seeing anything. Hmm. Bizarre. Hmm. How you doing? Wow, full up on gasoline again. We just get tons of gasoline. Is our diesel? Yeah, our diesel is starting to fill up too. Wow. Jeez. Let's turn this off for a little while. I'll turn this off for a little while. Let whatever residual power we have left flood into crude oil. Okay, so. How much crude oil do we have to work with? We've got a nice full tank of it. Excellent. Hmm. I haven't cheesed anything in particular. What you talking about? Unless this is just a uh, a general statement of the glory of cheese. Ah, uh, yes, we're gonna need to expand the uh, the maintenance layer too. Hmm. Let's just get our box, get that done, real quick. Maintenance layer we aren't gonna make pretty. We're just gonna. Make it functional. Yeah, I think I'll even make it just pure cobblestone. It's fine. So, no, no, I'll make it Celtic. I'll make it Celtic. Still, let's just gather up a bunch of cobble into here. Oh, also, I need the, um, I need the track blueprint. I need the smooth stone and I need the iron to make the tracks. And we need to chisel all this cobble real quick into Celtic. And set this to something more reasonable, like size 15, just because we need to walk it over a few. Why are you not? Why you know? What's blocking you? Does it not like that pipe being there? It must not like that pipe being there. Okay, let's move the pipe up one. 
and consider that a lesson learned, if that is in fact the problem. What am I still overloaded with? Okay, so... Now that should allow the... Oops. Yeah, this is why I want to actually build a platform out here because trying to swim and lay things is a bit awkward. <laughs> Yeah, one short? Okay. We should have a spare fluid pipe somewhere. Ah, Pam's Harvest Craft. I think the only quest pack I've played through that had Pam's... No, wait. Did Project Ozone have Pam's? I think Project Ozone had Pam's. But the only one that really made good use of it was Blightfall. Blightfall really made you have to dig into Pam's. Either way, yeah, that is a glorious mod. But yeah, you can see I definitely need to move the storage system over into the new base. Running back and forth like this ain't gonna cut it. Okay, so that's relinked again, and let's see if it'll now let us build. Okay. That... No? Why ever not? You aren't throwing any error. Okay, maybe down to a radius of 10. Try that. Why you not? Seriously, why you not? You're set to the right type of cobblestone, right? You're set to cobblestone Celtic? Position fixed, tight turntable, radius 10. Okay, if I switch it to place blueprint mode, will that maybe let me see what's going wrong here? Hmm. It just doesn't really like that pipe being there. Okay, cool. It really, really doesn't like that pipe. Good to know. So build your maintenance platform before you actually build your infrastructure. Excellent tips for the future. Okay. Now I should be able to... No, don't place blueprint. Right. Also need to get my cobble out once more. Get my building blocks out once more. Now that the platform has been appeased. Now that uh, its royal highness has received the proper due treatment. Excellent. And yeah, that didn't use nearly as much cobble as I was expecting it to. Come on, game. Not the time for lag. Never the time for lag. Okay. 
Really? You're still bogging me down? Hmm. Put those away, I guess. Right, it's because I'm carrying a stack of glowstone on me still. Well, let's just... Yeah, we ain't gonna make the maintenance layer pretty. We're just gonna make it functional. Lay out stuff as and where we need it. Oops. And the thing I really most appreciate is that chiseled glowstone. Heh. <laughs> And now in 10 minutes, you're going to say M-E, right? Eh, I get you. I get where this joke is going. I appreciate it. I acknowledge the joke, but it's predictable. Yep. Oh, you're holding on to it. You are holding out for it, sir. Oh. Must be a disconnect. Okay, well, let's expand the platform a little bit. Ah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Very nice. I applaud it. Excellent. 10 out of 10. Clever or just uh, of a similar mind when it comes to humor, I suppose. Which, sure, I'll accept that as clever. Why not? We'll compliment each other on that one. Alright, now just... Okay, and this should be enough maintenance space for what we need for the moment. If we need more, we'll just lay out more. Nothing spawnable down here? Mm, looking like nothing spawnable. Excellent. Now just re-chisel all this back to Nilla. Put this thing back on the filling station. That eye modifier is wonderfully convenient for when it comes to mass crafting. I should probably lay out ladders leading down to this layer occasionally. Hmm. Regardless. Put away our junk. I'm also going to need to lay out watering holes from place to place. Yeah. Okay, so... Right, and I wanted to... I wanted to get a maintenance layer down there so that I can lay out this engine more easily, that's why. So just down there, put a redstone block on it. Come on, let me up. It don't wanna. All right. I'll work around it anyway. And from there, so, we're probably going to want to lay out a couple of lengths of pipe just in case we need to, just for when, I should say, for when we want to split this thing off into crafting areas. Pizza for lunch and or dinner, I approve. Pizza is the most versatile of dishes. It can be as healthy or as unhealthy as you please. So just saying pizza doesn't tell me much, but in general, I approve. So from here, I guess let's split it off into a T-shape here. So 
first step is going to be our first heat exchanger. So heat exchangers, how do I want to run this? I guess I want to run it down this way. So you lay them out, oh, need to be facing the other way. The way you place these down matters. So two, three, four, five, there we go. Unfortunately, that's facing the wrong way around. So, two, three, four, five. There we go. So, heat exchangers are interesting. The inputs and outputs on these things are highly specific. I need to run the cold liquid down into the bottom here. And then I think the hot liquid goes in here. So then the heated liquid will come out the top here and the cooled, uh, what, what happens is you input a cold liquid down here and you put a hot liquid over here and they'll exchange through each other and it'll cool the hot liquid and heat up the cold liquid. So the cooled, the cooled hot liquid will come out over on that side. And yeah, I think that in that case, I want to lay this out a bit more in intelligently. Yeah, need a couple of spaces to lay out. So let's run this under the base then. From here, yeah. There. A Supreme pizza? Supreme is a pretty good pizza. Like, if you... Unless you absolutely cannot stand bell peppers, it's a good thing to try. Yeah, we can even pretty that up then. Kind of hide it under. Okay, so... What this means is that... Um, Okay, we're going to be heating up our crude oil. Mm -hmm. We're going to be heating up our crude oil into crude oil hot. And then immediately running that into the distillery. And that's going to produce dense oil hot and mixed light fuels hot. Mixed light fuels I could technically split further, but I'm not going to bother. Mixed light fuels is plenty efficient as it is. If we cool that down, um, liquids have to be cool for you to run them into engines. But if we cool that down, then we can run that into a combustion engine and that'll produce 30,000 Minecraft joules, MJ. That's pretty good, especially for the amount of it that we're gonna get. We're gonna get tons of this stuff. And uh, more importantly, the dense oil hot is going to go on further into more efficient fuel for our more intensive purposes. Hmm. Well, by all means, try it. By all means, try it. Uh, Supreme is... I'd say my favorite pizza is probably pepperoni and mushroom. But Supreme is maybe like my third or fourth favorite. It's up there. When it's done really well, it's Absolutely a wonderful pizza. But yes, just to kickstart this process, we're going to need a little bit of lava just to get an initial bit of hot oil in the system. Uh, yeah. MJ is old school modded Minecraft. It was one of the first power systems invented, and it's native to Buildcraft. And unfortunately, um, in version 12.2, which Journey Beyond the Abyss is in, Buildcraft was in kind of an intermediary state. I think that in the newest editions of modded Minecraft, it's more complete, but in this, it's definitely 
But yes, we're just gonna chunk a little bit of lava directly into there and we'll see a very pretty animation. This is hot lava being cooled down and just voided and cold oil being heated up and getting ready to eject out that pipe. Mm. So that's a little bit of crude oil hot now pooling in here waiting to come out. So now we need to take our distillery with just a few. Now we don't wanna put it directly on the side here. We want to, how do we wanna lay this out? Okay, the way we wanna lay this out is based off of its inputs and outputs. So the distillery is going to output hot distilled, it's gonna put out hot mixed fuel and it's gonna put out hot, um, hot heavy oil. So, if we put it like here, I guess, then put our distiller. And it's always gonna put out, it's gonna tell you specifically, if I look up crude oil hot again, it's gonna tell you that the dense oil is always gonna come out the bottom and the mixed light fuels are always gonna come out the top. So for this, the mixed light fuels are gonna be what I'm gonna to want to cool down in this particular heat sink. So, we're also gonna need to run, yes, thankfully the heat sinks don't need an extraction pipe on them. They'll just output on their own. But if we run that into there, and here's where we can make use of a pipe plug. A pipe plug will prevent pipes from crossing over with each other. So if I just put those down, then I can pipe that up and over. That's a little bit ugly, but oh well. And then we can just get our next redstone engine on there. Now we're also gonna want one on the hot oil. Now, so the mixed light fuels are going to be used to heat up the crude oil in the future. And then they're just gonna come out here as cool mixed light fuel and we're just gonna run a pipe down right here of it, and we're immediately gonna use that for power. We're just gonna have more of those combustion engines, of these combustion engines, just sipping up off of them. And I'm probably gonna want a tank. Yeah, I'm probably gonna want some sort of tank. Do I want to make a full, a full IE tank for this stuff? It would probably be the cheapest. I know the gates are compatible with them. Eh, why not? Let's go grab some. Let us go grab a beautiful big tank. Store 500 buckets of this fuel. Why not? We're far past the point of uh, being meek. Now shall be the age of accession, so mote it be. Store that sheet metal on me. And we're gonna wanna lay this out in plates. Honestly, I guess while I'm here, I should also probably put in for the final product too. Another 34. Once that's done melting. Hmm. It's really having its trouble finding its way into the filter up there, isn't it? 
now that the shape of the roof is a bit different, thanks to that redstone block. Well, we'll fix this soon, in fact. Once we have Buildcraft power up, then we'll be able to make gates and we'll be able to make pipe pulsers. And that'll make life a bit easier, a bit cleaner. Ah, wonderful, wonderful industry happening. All right. Let's start. Nah, we can wait. We can wait just for it to pour out. It's fine. It doesn't have too much further to go. No, not too much further at all. And from there, we can just... All right, it needs... Okay, and... All of you into those, please. All the kids get into the pool. And then I'm just gonna need some fence posts. Which I should have some. Yeah. We have an exactly perfect amount, in fact. So. Oh, right. There is one more thing we're going to need. We're going to need kinesis pipes. Kinesis pipes are the power pipes for Buildcraft for transporting MJ around. So we're going to need some wooden kinesis pipes and we're going to need some gold kinesis pipes. Let's just... I'm going to need more than that amount of them. Chunk up some gold. As well as the fact that we're going to need some redstone and just a couple pieces of wood. So... To make kinesis pipes, you just take regular pipes and you put redstone on them. Easy as that. And next, we're just going to need... Say, a stack. Just keep that gold in there. As well as... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Alright. So... From this point on, we build up our lovely tank. Probably just like right here, a reasonable short distance away. And in fact, let's actually run that kind of under, make use of our maintenance layer. Where is the closest safe spot for that? Right there. Try and kind of keep our pipes out of sight, out of mind as much as possible. There we go. And from there, we just build this up. 
And I, oh, it's in my backpack. Three, four, and this should be the layer that it seals. If I'm right, which I might not be. It is always a possibility that I am a massive idiot. Which seems to be a solid yes on this one. It's probably I built it one too tall. Give it a smack. Yep, there we go. Okay, so. Now it'll be... So, crude oil will be coming in cold. And because we've already uh, primed the system, we have a little bit of hot crude oil in the system. Just sitting in our distillery right here. When that gets refined, it'll turn into hot heavy oil and hot mixed fuels. The hot mixed fuels will be used to heat up more crude oil, and that system will just be circulating. So, all we should have to do now is give that system a test. So, if I take some of my kinesis pipe, run it out this way, put a engine on it. After a wooden kinesis pipe, of course. and then give that a redstone signal. And it's gonna need just a little bit of fuel to prime the pump, so. Combustion engines can run off of crude oil. However, doing so will produce residue. So you want to get them on a fuel that doesn't produce residue as soon as possible, because I think that once their tank is full of residue, their 10 bucket tank here, then they will clog. But yes, here we go, see? Light oil being cooled down, crude oil being heated up, and just being immediately injected into the system. Building up, and we have a little bit of heavy oil hot being produced down here, whereas our cool, usable mixed fuel is being stored in here. So our first stage of fuel refining is done, and technically, technically this right here is enough for me to get some industry going. But of course, I want to be a little bit fancier than this. Yes. So for our next stage, we're going to be continuing on right along the line, and we're gonna be heating up our heavy oil because heavy oil has a couple of forms it can go on. If I run it into a distillery now, I'll get light fuel and I'll get, uh, is this heavy oil or is this dense oil? It's dense oil that I have, right, right. So dense oil I can't use uh, right now. I need to get it to searing, the third temperature. But if I get that into a distillery, I'll get a bit of searing hot residue and a bit of searing dense fuel. And dense fuel is wonderful stuff. Dense fuel will burn forever, basically. Um, if I get it all the way back down to cool. Hello, Sir Lagzalot. <laughs> I think I'd remember a name like that, but I'm I'm sure that uh, you've you've just changed it all the time that it's been. Yes, hello, good to see you. We're playing Journey Beyond the Abyss. If you've not been following along with that, but yes, this dense fuel, this is the good stuff. This is the nectar of the gods right here. So that's what we want. So 
we need to heat up our heavy oil before we get it going a bit more. So we just need to run that on over first. Let's just get it all the way over. It's a little bit of a squirrely pipe, but needs must. Is there any way that I can get up more easily? No, not really. I really need to figure out some sort of quick access system for when I'm doing these maintenance trips. Yes, so now we have hot, dense oil, or hot, heavy oil, rather, queuing up to be made into searing heavy oil. And we're just going to need to get another bucket of lava to prime that pump. Because we're going to be doing the exact same trick again. We're going to be um, using... Well, actually, no. Maybe... Yeah, if I'm going to be using... If I'm going to be using the dense fuel to heat up the heavy oil, then maybe I want that heat exchanger in a slightly different position. Maybe I've misplaced it. Regardless, just a bouquet of lava. And then we'll consider the problem when we get back in there. But yes. Yeah. Ah, hello, the Nightmare Gamers. Goodness, I've seen a whole lot of new people on here this morning. I don't think either you or Sir Lagslot have joined me in these streams before. Welcome to the stream. Uh, no, I don't have this on a server, sadly. I do not have this on a server. And also, this is a, um... I am running a challenge right now. No one has ever completed this pack and documented it. So, the first person to do so is going to get a lot of internet clout, obviously. And multiplayer would be allowed, but uh, only if we were doing it from the beginning. Only if we were doing it from the beginning, I'm afraid. Well, I'm... I'm flattered as all hell. I... I don't know if I'm, like, big and important enough to have fans, but, uh, thank you. Um, and unfortunately, no. But maybe we can set up some other game that we can do a more public joining for. Maybe. We'll, we'll figure something out. So. So, this heavy oil searing. That turns into residue on the bottom and mixed heavy fuels on the top. All right, so we need to run that kind of awkwardly over to here. And this is why we try not to make our pipe systems with live, because, yeah, we need to figure out where we need to put plugs. Ah, uh, and this is going to need to be voided. Yeah. Uh, this is Journey Beyond the Abyss. This is heavily modded Minecraft. There. A little bit awkward, but it works. And... And in any case, I don't own a server or anything, so... It don't look like it's heavily modified. Are you seeing these immersive engineering tanks? Are you seeing this build craft monstrosity I'm building right now? This doesn't look like vanilla Minecraft to me. Okay, and then we're just gonna need to... Right, also, I forgot. I need to run pipe off of this too 
I am, uh, I'm from the U.S. I'm in Texas right now. Not a Texas native, but uh, not from far off either. Aw, oh, for a moment I thought that just extracted, but no, it don't. Ah, it does not look like vanilla Minecraft, indeed. Okay, so... I'm going to need a couple of redstone blocks. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I don't play a lot of Minecraft multiplayer in general. I need to figure out, like, where... Okay, so let's, let's lay out our final heat exchanger here. So, the cooldown dense fuel will come out here, right? So if I run it th this way, mm, no, not quite. Need to move it just a couple spaces, like to right there. So then, <laughs> even a super simplified version of it but yeah oops oh that was a bad choice that was a bad choice right there ah shoot and the damn rain is killing me too stupid hypothermia Okay, so figure out a better system than that. This way. That's derp as hell. Uh, can I really not? Okay, if I plug on that one. And that one and then I should be able to just Right there, and then plug on that one. Yeah. And that's a bit less derp. There, that's a bit neater. Yeah, goddamn, this stupid temperature. Eat some delicious life giving tripe. And try and cure our hypothermia by huddling around a mysteriously exothermic pile of tinder. It's fine. Hmm. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to dig up that glowstone to use this here, but that's okay. So, I think that, yeah, this is, this is the hot fluid side. Then it'll be coming out over here. And this will be where we start running off our pipe of dense fuel. if I'm not mistaken, which I very well might be. So we can in fact place like a kinesis pipe. Right, it's raining so my pickaxe is super fast and I need to be careful. But yeah, and then that'll run off the dense fuel That'll work. Now I just need to go and pick up a couple of bits of redstone to run these engines. And then I need to just prime the pump one more time. Didn't I? Yeah, I primed it into that, but I just need to... Give it a little bit of crude oil to burn, too. So, need to pick up a couple blocks of redstone just for now. Drink some water. Keep self-hydrated. Switch back to daytime to help with the temperature just a little bit. Uh, 
All right. And that should be a system that we can give a test firing and make sure that we've got everything going in the right place. Ah, yes. Also, we're going to need water to cool down the second stage of the dense fuel. Right. Forgot about that. So we're going to need a fluid pump, too. But in the meantime, in the meantime... Um... Right, and I needed the second redstone block for when I complete the tank. Right. We'll just put that away for now. Um, okay, so. Just need a bucket of this fuel to run this. And that should start pumping. Oh, right, I forgot to actually link these. Ha, ha, ha. There we go. And yes, there's a little bit of hot, dense fuel. And now that searing hot, dense fuel is being used to heat up the heavy oil into its final stage. All right, that also needs a plug right there, don't it? No, it don't. Ah, good. And now we have merely hot, dense fuel coming down in here. So we're going to need a cool fluid to cool it off. And for that, I'm just gonna use water. So I'm gonna go and get myself a, uh, a fluid pump. We're not gonna use a Buildcraft pump. We're gonna use RF wherever we can. Yeah, I really need to move my old base over into the growing new one. Need to move all the old storage system, all the old crafting system. So, to make a pump, we're gonna need just a little bit of iron plate, a little bit of liquid pipe. Probably gonna need more liquid pipe than that, just because I think liquid pipes are the only things compatible. We're gonna need a single iron mechanical component. This is dirt cheap, really. And right, need more pipe. There we go. Do I have any more iron plate in stock? No, I don't. Hmm. Well, let's throw the last of our blocks of iron into the smeltery. Get it going. This is set to plate mode? This is set to plate mode. All right, and let's just keep the lava a flowing as well. How's the fuel in that doing? It's doing fine. Just want to let those blocks melt down and get the pour going. And maybe make a few more liquid pipes. I'm also going to need to grab my... Where's my wiring? Did I put that in my bag? Yeah, there it is. Okay, I should have enough wiring to get stuff over. This will also be the first official case of uh, running power cables into the new base. So this is a slightly momentous occasion, I suppose. Come on. There we go. Get me those delicious iron plates. They're like potato chips. You can never have enough of them. There, that's probably good enough. For the moment. And just make lots of liquid pipes. We're also going to need another block of redstone. We're actually running low on that, but... Uh, well, we are, but we aren't, because, uh, yeah. We have a bit of redstone to spare. Just from running that excavator for a little while. Which, um... The whole reason I'm working on a Buildcraft fuel refinery is so that I can make Buildcraft lasers... 
and thus unlock myself gates, at which point I can start more easily automating the production of things like, uh, keep the, oh shoot, I forgot these things pollute. I forgot these things pollute. Well, we'll, we'll never mind that for the moment, but I'll have to keep that in mind. Yeah, I forgot that those things pollute. Okay. I also need to pick up more tripes. Hmm. Tripes are more pressing. We'll pick up a filter while we're... Well, no, I don't want to necessarily just do one filter. Because... You know what I could do? I could use vents and chimneys to combine the pollution output of all these engines that I'm going to be building. And that would mean that I can only have it all in one filter, because they don't pollute a super lot. They just pollute a little bit. They aren't like diesel engines. I'm sorry if I'm rambling. I'm very tired right now. It's probably past due time for me to turn in. But, uh, yes, yes, yes. Let us grab this and this and make us some bars. If the game will not lag when we open up, when we so much as look at JEI. Not quite enough. Let's just make a ton. And then we're going to need to make, what did it take to make a filter again? It took just the four diamond blocks and a bunch of wool. I'm not sure if I have a ton of wool still. I have enough to at least make it, but I'll need to pick up some more for sure. All right, that's engineers. All right, and we'll just put this in mechanical intermediaries. And of course, our artisan's tools snuck into our hand. All right, visit the old man, pick up some wool. Yeah, the game is not only experiencing lag spikes, but it's starting to slow down in general. I think I need to buy more RAM. I need to download more RAM. He is... Oh, right, I don't have my money on me. I put it away. There we go. Oh, he's almost out of wool. He must not be chunk-loaded. Can I fix that? If I claim this chunk and load it... Will that, uh, will that have him farming wool happily in the background? I hope so. Because, I mean, I could make wool out of hemp fiber right now. But it's not a process that I can fully automate just yet. Simply because I would need a, a carpenter devoted entirely to it. And that would be a bit expensive. I need the gates to create the base automation of all the enhanced parts that... It would take to make carpenters more cheaply and thus automate further. We need to make the tools to make the tools. Right, and I also need vents and chimneys. Right, right. Can I make cobblestone chimneys and vents? No, I can't. What can I make chimneys out of? None of these recipes I can make it out of bone. Ugh, no, that's too expensive. Not until I have a mob farm, which I unfortunately can't do for reasons right now. Really? None of these? None of these? Nether wart? Okay. 
fine. Why are these still listed in... Okay, I could make it out of brownstone. I guess I could... Eh, seared brick is probably going to be the way I have to go then. Okay. Well, let's melt a ton of seared brick, I guess. Let's just... Chunk all that into the smeltery. It's been a while since I made a proper batch of seared brick anyway. Yeah, there's that too. <laughs> I'll download whatever I darn well please. You know you would totally download a car if you could get out if you could. Heck, the fact that this uh this pack has immersive railroading in it. I've technically already downloaded a ton of railroad cars. Ah, good. We we had some of these just in storage then. Cool. Actually, no, I need to. I need to chisel those into bricks because it was specifically seared brick chimneys. Okay, but I should be able to take those. And I think it's just one on each, right? No. How do you make chimney? It's six. Okay, cool. Let's make a couple of those, because I think those are used to make vents, right? Yeah. And we're going to need tons of vents. They're essentially pipes for pollution. Okay, that should hopefully be enough. And the rest of that seared brick we'll just put away in here. And from there, we can hopefully link our engines together. Well, that actually kind of is more of a crime just because stock images, you know, they, they cost money. So where do we want to be venting this? Hmm. Okay, so I'm probably going to like build the tank here and then like run engines back this way as well as from the tank off here, just running engines off this way. So I guess I want to be venting pollution somewhere in the center down here. So by putting vents next to a pollution producing block, you can tell it where you want it to put its pollution. And then it's just a chimney for an output. Hmm. Nice. How has it changed? I haven't uh I haven't kept up to track on Minecraft past 1.12 really. So, let's give that a test. If I take a bucket of light fuel into here, then we should see smoke coming out of the chimney over there. Yes. The fact that the smoke particles are coming out of the chimney tells you that these are properly linked by vents. So now this just needs to be more properly automated with an item transport pipe, which I don't think I have any on me. Oh boy, back to the base once again. 
Yeah, I really need to move that storage system over. Definitely doing that between episodes. Definitely going to be doing that. So, right, I'm also going to want a void liquid pipe while I'm here anyway. For that, uh, for that searing hot residue, which is absolutely useless. Really? Yeah, this is the... Oh, it just doesn't have any gasoline in it? Well, that's easy to fix. Okay, void fluid pipe. Let's... I guess these are technically... Techni well, no, let's keep them up in our crate for the moment. Hmm. Oh, um... The melter is in this version, yes. And you had to start with the... with the melter. Use it to work your way up to the smeltery. Yeah, that was, uh, the melter was in, I, I don't know if it's in Baseline Tinkers or if it was as part of Tinkers' complement, but yeah, the melter is in this pack. Okay, so that's that residue clearing out. And now we just need the fluid pipe to fully cool down our dense fuel, and that'll be completed. Right, so, right, right, first of all, I need to automate this. Oh, and I needed a void pipe on that. Shoot. Yep. Yep, yep. Melter is in this pack, and it works exactly the way you're describing. And it's part of Tinker's complement, not base Tinker's construct, but... Um... Yeah, so it might be that... Uh... The change that you've noticed is they added it to baseline tinkers. And shoot, I'm gonna need another gonna need another redstone engine anyway. Well, I need a void. I need a void pipe, so it's fine. All right, so start by making myself a piston. Two, three, four, as well as one, two, three. Mm-hmm. And from there, get my backpack in a proper slot again. Then I'm going to need... Wait a minute, didn't I already make a ton of extras? Yeah, I did. Oh, well. Red engine. There we go. Oh, I had one in my hand already. Well, I'm going to need that for the fuel tank, so it's fine. So did I have any more void pipes? Yeah, I did. Cool. Hmm. I've never heard of that mod. That sounds pretty cool. When you feel that your uh, mod pack is ready to distribute, definitely, definitely send me a link to it on on wherever you decide to distribute it. Unless you're making it, you know, solely for your own enjoyment, which is fine. Ah, shoot. I shouldn't have put a plug there. This is why we actively debug our systems. So we just put a void pipe there, put a redstone engine there. And that's a fully automated pollution pipe. It's just going to need a bigger supply of wool to last it a good long time. 
And yes, when we run when we run our uh, engines down here, they'll be on this level. So we'll just run vents over to them and up into a chimney over here. And that should be fine. That should direct all the pollution into one place. So now for this one. Eh, yeah, beneath. Hmm. Very nice. So are you going to make quests for it or is it just um is it just a pack of mods to enjoy? Okay, so Yeah, let's actually shorten the position of that one by a little bit. Move it one block farther inwards. Just right there. No, wait. I said one block further inwards, please. Eh, our pickaxe is slightly too fast for my own good. Well, FTB Quest is the uh, mod to do it. I don't know how to work it, but... I don't know much about making mods anyway. I just play them. Alright, and then redstone right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then... Let's say that we're running our engines on this level, so we'll be... If our engines are right here, then we run fuel down this line, and we'll have, like, water down this line. So then we can just sneak a feed line off there. Oops. Misjudged. There, and that'll run that engine. Uh, well, you can make FTB questing into hardcore questing. I think that FTB questing is what uh, this mod pack uses, and it's made hardcore through the No Lives mod. All right, so now we just need to cool our dense fuel properly. So we need to, unfortunately, dig up this bat, this chunk of glowstone. We'll just, we'll just kind of jankily put some down to replace it. Two pieces should do, like here and here. Yep, yeah, that's got everything lit up again. It breaks the pattern, but oh well. So, if we run liquid pipe just off of that, then we can put our pump right down here. No, not right there. We can do... No, it does have to be right there, doesn't it? Yeah, right there. So, give that a whack into gold mode. And then just... Oh, I misjudged his position slightly. Oh, well. Oh, well. So let's restore the sanctity of... Now, how am I going to want to run my power lines in here? Oh, right. Also, that is going to need a redstone block. Of course. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, you're certainly going to have plenty of time to develop because I am technically not even into the mid game of JPTA yet. I am approaching the end of the early game. And I'm also approaching a lag spike right now. Isn't that always lovely? Oh, this is a bad one. Hmm. All right. Yep. That was a real bad one. And didn't even really have JEI to yell at about it. That was just a bizarre, out of nowhere spike. Okay, so redstone over just there. And now we need to start figuring out how we're going to run this power. So we're going to need these. We're going to need that. And we're going to need those. So I think... I think that I'm going to want to, in general, try and run my power lines down down our grid lines to make it kind of more predictable looking, you know? So, run that to there. Oh, that's low down. That is going to be a tripping hazard. So can we... Can we in any way, like, if I do that to that, that's still pretty low. Hmm. It is better, though? Eh. Yeah, goddamn nighttime, goddamn rain. Yeah, I suppose. I think I can sneak under that. Yeah. And people say I was being decadent and making my maintenance layer three blocks tall. Okay, so where, where is the Utilidor system? Where is that feeding into the diesel engine right now? Right there. So if I just dig down into there. Yeah. Yeah, we can actually almost run that under the uh run that under the liquid pipe. Blech water in my face. Let's just cut that off with a bit of whatever blocks we have on hand. Hmm. No, it needs to come out there. So we just need to, I guess, just dry out an area a little bit. Yeah. All right, so how to run this? I guess that if I... Where's my HP cables? Where did my cables go? Ah, there they are. I'm just blind. Get out of here, you. Oh, shoot, that's a pass-through. Pass-through can only do one at a time. Okay, okay. So then... Hmm, hmm. If we... do this, and then... snip the wire... 
off the pass through, then we can run it to there and then into there. Mm. Oh, come on. There, there we go. All right, and now we can relight our corridor. All nice and proper and happy. And from there, we can just kind of run it on out. Connection is obstructed by frickin' sand. Ah. So for this, uh, for this D&D &D that you're kind of getting together, do you have all your players lined up already? Like, uh, do you already have a group or is that just gonna be kind of like, uh, are you gonna have to put out feelers for people to play with you? we can finally get it into the maintenance layer. Ah, nice. It happens. It definitely happens. All right. Hmm. It's so close to head level. Well, let's give it a little juice and see if that pumps out some water for us. on why you know why you know you should be go why you know you have power you have redstone you should be configured correctly, yeah. You're sitting over water like you should. So why you know? Do you just not work with, uh, with that particular pipe connection? If I... No, you should. You should be able to input into those. Hmm. Okay, can I hook Billcraft pipes directly onto you? The answer is yes, but seemingly no. Okay. Stupid test. Are these wires live? These wires are not live. Okay, where is it losing the connection?
Where is it losing the connection? Did I accidentally clip something up there? Oh, I accidentally clipped the pipe off of this. That would explain some of it. No, wait, no, it's it's going under there. Okay. Okay, so what's the... God damn it, the torches. Ugh, I hate having an overloaded inventory. I somehow clipped that wire. Okay. Give power. And just like that, the entire system should be back in business. Okay, and it looks like indeed this can just use build craft pipes directly. Excellent. So that should it should have made me some dense fuel. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so that's yeah, that's definitely the Yeah. So the upward should be the hot fluid in, and that should be the cold fluid in. So why you know? Do you just not have enough dense fuel? Looks like it's not inputting into there. Why you know? Oh, shoot, is that the hot liquid output that it's going into? So should it be then going into... Maybe... Here? There we go. Okay, so I overcomplicated this jank of a pipe in the first place then. Okay, so now we have nice, cool, dense fuel coming out, and it's already fueling this engine. All right. So, now all we need to do is make a final storage for this dense fuel. Let's just finally clear out my inventory a little bit of all the useless crap I've randomly picked up. All right. And I'm missing some sheet metal. Hmm. Did I accidentally put it like in here? Yeah, I must have.
And this is a ridiculously over the top amount of storage, by the way. In a buildcraft quarry, four buckets of dense fuel is roughly what you need to mine out an entire chunk. This is a ridiculous amount of storage for dense fuel. That's better. And... Three... Four... And let's see if that's enough. No, nope. it needs one more layer. So I was missing some sheet metal. No, wait, I shouldn't be. I had more than enough. It only takes 34, doesn't it? So did I build this wrong? Three, four. Where did my remaining sheet metal go? Yeah, screw it. Let's just go grab some more. That should be more than enough to finish off this tank. And once that's built up, it's probably time to call it a night. Still no? Why you know? Is it because this buildcraft pipe is sitting in here? Okay, wait for it to drain out. Okay. So, first of all, these are treated wood fences, right? Yeah. Indeed, I have. We've made quite a lovely mound of progress today. Okay, so I'm guessing that the problem is that it is... I did, in fact, have the right height before, but for some reason something else was invalidating the multi-block. Hammer? Ah... It didn't like having that pipe there. Must wait until block is complete to build piping system. But, okay. We have incoming build craft fuel converted automatically all the way from crude oil into mixed light fuel and into the wonderful, beautiful, tasty, dense fuel. 
The system is self-fueling and entirely self-heating. The only additional input after crude oil is a little bit of water, which is practically free. So, we have our first beast of a refinery down here. Now, next episode, we're going to have to start properly utilizing this. We're going to have to make a line of these of these combustion engines and we're going to have to start feeding the fuel we're producing into them and we're going to have to make some build craft lasers in order to then utilize the wonderful buckets of power we'll be producing out of those but that's a comparatively simple process after putting together this massive piping and refining and logistics that we've just assembled here And once we have those lasers, we have gates. And gates are going to be wonderful. They're going to do wonderful, beautiful things for us. And ooh, dense fuel, cool, beautiful stuff. Tasty, tasty fuel. So, in between episodes, I'm going to do a little bit of base maintenance. I am going to go and I'm going to fetch all the chests and all the artisan tables from the old base. And I'm going to set up a crafting area between my solid and liquid storage, like right in this little trench here. And I'm just going to move everything from the old base into here so that I no longer have to be hopping back and forth quite so much. I might also build out the platform a little bit more. Building out platform is boring work. You don't need to see it on stream. So you'll see a little bit of a difference between this episode and next, a little bit of off-screen work, but really nothing valuable. And ah, uh, yes, the beautiful steam coming out of this, the water just turning immediately into floofs of, ah, uh, this is a beautiful system. These things are so awesome to watch in my opinion. Just the, just the glooping through each other, the beautiful movement of all the fluids. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful, glorious stuff. Okay, I am obviously out of my mind with tiredness. It is time for me to go to bed. Thank you all for being here, Computer Wizard, and everyone else. <laughs> yes. Mm. Everyone, have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a wonderful evening. I'll see you on the next time.